Hey, this is Jake with Survival News Online, and today I'm going to be showing you the Maxpedition Remora. So the Remora is in the Gear Slinger product line, along with the Sitka, which we've done a review on that one. Uh, the nice thing about it is it's a one-strap bag, and you can uh, you can change which shoulder you want to wear it over. It's got this little clip right here that you can adjust which, adjust which side you want it to go over. You wear the bag over one shoulder like this and then to access what you have inside you sling it around. So I'll show you some of the pockets. You've got the main compartment that zips open here and you have some velcro straps to separate these different compartments. Then you have this small pouch here that zips closed. This would be good for something like first aid gear. And uh, on the back, you've got this snap open area that you can store a handgun in. This compartment would be really good for one of the smaller frame Glocks or some other compact pistol. Um, I guess you could carry some huge 45 in it if you really felt the need to have that kind of firepower around. But the point is, it's really smaller and designed for a smaller pistol. Then on the front, you've got this top compartment here, and it's separated by these uh, elastic bands. Then you've got this. This would be good for keeping something like your wallet or passport or some sort of ID papers. And then you've got the last compartment here. You've got this elastic strap that goes across that's separated into several different little segments. Good for pins, uh, you can store a flashlight here. Then you've got this little clip here that you can snap your keys to. On the front, you also have this elastic string attached to this compartment here. And this is so you can loosen it up and stuff a sweater or something through there if you don't actually need to wear it at the time. The bag is pretty much covered with Molly webbing so you can attach other uh, Molly compatible bags to it if you want to. For a long time I actually carried a smaller uh, Molly pouch right here on the front and that worked really well. On the sides here, be really nice for strapping a flashlight or knife or something, but I would be careful about the legal size limit for a knife if you're going to carry it on the bag in public anyway. So to wrap it up, the Remora is a really nice little bag. Um, it could be your everyday carry. This is actually the size that I prefer as an everyday carry because I really don't like to carry everything but the kitchen sink in my everyday carry bag. I usually just carry like, you know, cell phone, wallet, flashlight, the basics that you would actually use in the day. And then, you know, in my car, I'll keep a larger bag with serious survival gear. So, um, I like this bag as an everyday carry bag. It is a little on the small side compared to some of the other ones. It's no backpack. But it is really nice, and the fact that you can adjust which shoulder you sling it over is a really nice feature. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Look out for future videos.